Imagine being able to track every post your competitors make across LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, and even X in seconds. That's exactly what the social media scraper AI agent does. I paste the brand social link, and within moments, it collects all their latest posts along with captions, posting dates, transcripts, and engagement date. Automatically saved in your Google Sheet. This is perfect for creators, marketers, and founders who want to study what's performing well without wasting hours scrolling through feeds. And the best part, you can build the same automation yourself using N810 without a single line of code. So in this video, I'll show you how to build and run a social media scraper AI agent using N810. And I'm Brian from Website Learners, and let's get started. To create a social media scraper AI agent, we are going to do four steps. The first step is to get the workflow. To get the workflow, just click the link in the description. Click download. And the social media scraper AI agent workflow will be downloaded. In order to download this workflow, you need to have the N18 hosting on WebSpace Kit. Since I've already logged in, it'll download directly. You can watch this video to learn how to set up the N18 hosting on WebSpace Kit. All right, once you've got the hosting and the workflow, go to N18 account, then click here. Select import from file and upload the workflow file you just downloaded. As you can see here, we've got our workflow. All right, we have successfully imported our workflow. Now we need to set up the nodes and connect the required API services to our workflow. Now let's go to the second step, which is to connect Appify to N8N. Appify is a web scraping tool and here we are using it to pull data from different social media platforms. To connect Appify, let's open this node, scroll down. And this is where we need to add the Appify API key. To get the API key, click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Let's click get started and sign in with your Google account. Now click here and go to billing. Here click upgrade and choose the plan that best suits your needs. I'm going to select the starter plan Fill in these details, click save and continue, select a payment method, enter your payment details and click save and continue. Alright, now click here, search for API, click go to API tokens and here you can see the API key we need. So let's copy it. Go back to N810 and paste it here. Now go back and in the same way paste the API key in these nodes too. So let's open them one by one and paste it in this field. Perfect. We have successfully connected Appify to N810. Now let's move on to the third step, which is to connect Google Sheets to N810. Google Sheets is where all our scraped data will be stored so that we can access them easily. So to connect Google Sheets to N810, open this node, click here, and select Create New Credential. Here we need to enter our Google credentials, and if you don't know how to generate these credentials, watch this video where I'll show you exactly how to set them up for Google Sheets, Google Drive, Google Docs, and other Google Apps. Okay, once you've added the credentials, click here and sign in with your Google account and click continue. Next, click the Sheets link in the description and it'll open this template. Click on File, click on Make a Copy and click on the Make a Copy button again. Now let's go back to N810 and select the Google Sheet you just created. Now click on the Sheet drop-down and select LinkedIn Scrape. Alright, now Google Sheet is connected to N810. But since we are scraping data from multiple social media platforms, 
each platform has its own Google Sheet node. This means we need to select the correct sheet for each one of them to make sure the scraped data is added to the right place. So let's start with this node. Just open it and select the YouTube scrape sheet. Next open these nodes and select the Instagram Reel scrape sheet. And finally open these nodes and select the X scrape node. Once that is done, the Google Sheet will be successfully connected to NA10. Now let's go to the fourth step, which is to connect OpenAI to NA10. OpenAI is used to generate the transcripts of Instagram Reels and YouTube videos. These transcripts are then automatically organized in the Google Sheet. So to connect OpenAI to NA10, open this node, click here, and select Create New Credentials. Now this is where we need to enter the API key. To get the API key, just click the link in the description. Now go to API keys, click create new secret key, so give a name for your key and click create secret key. As you can see, we now have our API key. But keep in mind, you'll only be able to get an API key from OpenAI if you've added a payment method first. Now let's copy this key, paste it in NA10. Since we have two more OpenAI nodes, to configure them, just open them one by one and they'll be connected to NA10. Great, we have successfully connected OpenAI to NA10. Just click on save to store your workflow. So now we have connected all the required API services with our NA10 workflow and it's ready to run. Just click on execute workflow. Now paste the social media link of any competitor. Let's start with the LinkedIn link. I'll copy this brand's profile. Come back and paste it here. Once you send it, the workflow starts running. When it's done, open your Google Sheet. And here it is. The AI agent has scraped all the recent LinkedIn posts along with the posting dates, captions and even the follow account. Next, let's try with Instagram. Just copy the Instagram account link. Send it here. And once it is processed, go to your Google Sheet and switch to the IG Reels Scrape tab at the bottom. You'll see the recent reels with posting dates, captions, transcripts, likes and hashtags. Now let's test it with the X link. Just copy the X account link. Send it here. Go to your Google Sheet and switch to the X scrape tab at the bottom. And here's all the scrape data neatly organized. Finally, let's test YouTube. Copy the channel link. Send it here. And once it is done, go to your Google Sheet and switch to your YouTube Scrape tab. And you'll see every recent video along with the title, date, likes, view and a subscriber account along with the transcript and caption. Pretty cool, right? Now you can use all this data to research competitors, find content ideas, and plan your next campaign smarter. So that's it, guys. This is how you can build and run your social media scraper automation using NA10. 
Now you can start building this workflow for yourself. The first step is launching N18 on WebSpace Kit. And to do that, just click here and it'll take you to the same page that we saw in the beginning. So go ahead and start creating workflows. Also, you can get our latest videos directly on WhatsApp. You can just scan the QR or tap the link and hit follow. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.